hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl t back again with another video so as you guys requested i am back in the kitchen um right now i am about to make some fried fish i got my fish right here in the bowl like kind of just like thawing out it's thawed out but it still has the head on it so i gotta clean it up and get all the rest of the stuff that's inside out so we're gonna do that i'm gonna make some cabbage some cabbage and some yellow rice so that's what's gonna be for dinner um i got two pieces of fish here because i like leftovers i don't know about y'all but i like leftovers they taste way better the next day so i always make enough so i can have leftovers and who wants to be cooking every day? Not me. But anywho, if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on all your post notifications so you do not miss any time that I upload. And yeah, let's clean this fish, okay? So, y'all look. So these are porgies, and they already gutted the inside, but uh-uh, like, y'all know when y'all buy stuff from the grocery store, and they say it's already clean that you have to go back and re-clean it because it's not completely clean so i got my kitchen scissors here and basically what i do is i just cut right here along the head because we don't want the head i don't want the head some people eat the head some people don't i don't personally um so yeah i'm getting rid of it <clears throat> boom some people make um soup out of it but nah not me so anywho that's what it should look like once you cut the head off and then what you want to do is cut a little bit in the inside Hold on, i'll show y'all what it looks like So like, y'all see that? There's blood in there. You want to get that out. You don't want that in your food. So you want to clean that part out. And I'm feeling for like the scales on the outside. I don't feel any. They did a good job with cleaning the scales off of the fish. So I don't have to go in and clean that. Um, but yeah, you just want to get the blood out as best as you can. And you want it to look like that. Okay. Put that to the side. And then for our big one. Y'all, this looks so creepy. <laughs> I'm so childish. All right. And so you want to do the same thing to this one. Let me cut his arms off first. Put this in the way. Okay. And you're going to do the same thing to this one. It get tough right here at the top. There you go. And you going right to that out. Alright y'all, so while 
I'm seasoning up the fish. I'm gonna have the uh, water for the rice boiling because the rice is gonna take the longest. So I wanna get that on before I start cooking anything else because I want all my food to be done at the same time. So I just put a little bit of um, Land O'Lakes butter with canola oil in there. And I'm gonna let that boil and then I'm gonna add in the rice. <clears throat> okay. All right, so over here, you guys, we got the fish and I'm about to season this stuff up. So first we're gonna go in with some complete seasoning. Y'all know I put this on everything. Generous amount. You slap your mama just a little bit because that has salt in it. You don't want it too salty now. Some black pepper. Some garlic and herb. Some adobo. Some onion powder. Some obey. And some mustard. That's gonna bind the seasonings onto your fish. You're just gonna give this a nice little mixy mix. Put some, make sure you put it in the inside of the fish. I want it to be seasoned. And then that's it. That's what you want your fish to look like once you finish seasoning it. All right, y'all. I'm about to put the rice in. My water is boiling. says to let it boil for like a minute and then close it up tightly yeah I still don't know how to make rice so I have to follow <laughs> rice that has directions okay so yeah let that boil for a minute and while that's boiling we're gonna cut up our um cabbage. I'm going to rinse this off. Okay y'all, so now we about to cut some bacon up and some, some kielbasa sausage. Cause that's what's gonna give our cabbage the flavor. And my grease is heating up for my fish. I'm just gonna take a couple slices out of here. And we just gonna chop these up.
we also going to cut up some onion. Alright y'all, so now we about to put this bacon in the pot and brown this up with the sausage. So this is how you want your bacon and your kibasi to look nice and brown. It's not burnt. It's just brown, okay? And now we're about to add in our cabbage. Let's throw that right on top. And a little bit of these onions. Give that nice a nice little toss because we don't want uh the bacon at the bottom to burn so just mix that up and then we're going to season it i'm not finished i gotta put the rest of that in here but while that's cooking down a little bit we're going to check on the rice get that a stir make sure it's not sticking to the bottom of the pot and we're going to let that continue to keep going Y'all, for a little bit of kick, we're gonna add in some of this slapping mama, some onion powder, nice, generous amount, some garlic and herb. black pepper and of course some complete and we also gonna put some of this chicken cube in here not the whole thing because we don't want it salty but we want it flavorful and that's gonna cook down Got a cabbage. Well, little by little bit. Because <laughs> I don't want it to overflow. I always do this to myself. I always put it in a pot that's not big enough. But that's okay. It's all going to cook down. It's all going to be good. Alright, y'all. So my grease is hot for my fish. We about to put it in this flour. And we're going to drop it in this grease. Got 
The key to great fried meat is to shake off that excess flour. You don't want to have excess flour because it's not going to fry well. All right. Close that up. Put this baby in here. Right there. All right, y'all. So I was able to get all the cabbage in here and it's cooking down. About to give it a little bit of a toss. Looks good, it smells good. It still needs to cook a little bit longer and wilt down a little bit, but that's the color that you want. You see that? Y'all see that juice? Yes. You don't want it over overly seasoned either. So also like if you new to this, like taste test your food. And get it to your liking. But yeah, and you want them uh, onions to caramelize and get loose. Well, get uh, limp. That's what I meant to say. But yeah, so we're going to let that continue to cook. And we're going to check on our rice. And yes, I'm using the same spoon. It's going in the same place in my belly. Yeah, that's still need some cooking to do so I'm gonna put that back up there and let that finish all right y'all the fish is done well this piece is anyways that's how you want it to look nice and golden brown and crispy there you go like so like that we're about to put this other one in here. And dinner will be done, y'all. All right, y'all. Let me let y'all get a look at this beautiful cabbage. Yes, ma'am. Beautiful. It's done. And let me show y'all the yellow rice. Yellow rice is done. Yes, ma'am. Let's plate the food up. All right, y'all. So the food is done and it's all plated up. We got our fried porgy fish with some yellow rice and some cabbage. And y'all, I'm about to tear this up, okay? <laughs> It smells so delicious, like I can't wait to dig in and taste it. But let me know if you guys try this recipe. And yeah, y'all, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed. Bye.